أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله earlier today in the Radio Noor show which you can access at muslimdirectory.us or by tuning into 8.10 a.m. radio in the southwestern area of Michigan and surrounding areas on Sundays from 11 a.m. till 12 p.m. The first half hour in the Bosnian language and then the second half hour in English. We, in this show today, discussed the issue of Shahada and we did so in a way to investigate the important issues around it and um, bring out the reminders that we need uh, from any perspective, whether we're non-Muslims, new Muslims, or experienced Muslims. The first question we asked as we bring the content, same content from the show, is what is the Shahada? Now there are layers to the answer to that, but first, very basically, is to say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah which we can say in English means none has the right to be worshipped but Allah and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And saying these two things, believing them and saying them sincerely, will transition someone from being a non-Muslim to a Muslim. They've now entered the fold of Islam. And saying these things, these statements, they single Allah out for worship. That our highest love and devotion and obedience is to Allah and that we don't make competitors with Allah in these things. As well, we define Allah, how to worship Him in our belief, according to the message that Allah sent through the Prophet Muhammad We do listen to scholars, because they have comprehensive knowledge, however, we don't follow them blindly. They have to bring proof from the Messenger Muhammad who is not divine, but who Allah selected to convey His message to us. So we affirm Allah is the only one worthy of worship, and we affirm that He sent His message through this man, Prophet Muhammad This is the basic concept of the Shahada. Uh, 